good day. I am Jomarit El Mapindan from Mayapyap Elementary School, your teacher presenter for Teletroan. Today, we will describe the appearance and uses of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. But before we start, what is formed when two or more substances like water, sugar, and coffee are combined? When you mix a coffee, powder, sugar, and water, you form a mixture. What is a mixture? A mixture is a combination of two or more substances in which each pure substance retains its individual chemical properties. Every day, most matter occurs as mixtures. It is difficult to keep any substance pure. Matter tends to mix naturally like air, seawater, and pebbles. Mixture can be combined in different ways. It can be classified as heterogeneous or homogeneous mixture. What is a heterogeneous mixture? A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture that does not have uniform composition. The composition of a heterogeneous mixture does not blend throughout. The individual substances or the components are recognizable or remain distinct. For example, a freshly squeezed the London juice is a heterogeneous mixture of juice and pulp. The pulp components float in a juice component. Some other examples of heterogeneous mixtures are beach sand, vegetable salad, air with clouds. Beach sand is a heterogeneous since you can see different colored particles. Natural processes mix up sand, stones, shells, and even living things, scattering them across the beach as a mixture. A salad with lettuce, cheese, seeds, tomatoes, broccoli, and other vegetables is an example of a heterogeneous mixture. Air with clouds contains tiny droplets of water hang visibly in the air. Let's have other examples of heterogeneous mixture. We have soil, cement mixture, pizza, and fruit salad. On the other hand, a homogeneous mixture is a mixture that has a uniform composition throughout. Homogeneous mixture could be in liquid or in solid. Only one phase is seen or visible after mixing the different components. A simple example of a liquid homogeneous mixture is salt water. When salt is dissolved in water, the salt spreads out within the water evenly. If you taste it, you'll drink in water that's salty and you won't feel any salt crystals on your tongue. In a soft drink, we find components like sweetener, carbon dioxide, and water forming a single phase. It is classified as homogeneous mixture. Steel is a homogeneous mixture. It is a combination of iron and carbon. Copper and zinc can be put together to make another homogeneous mixture called brass. An alloy is a homogeneous mixture of different melted metals. The air that we breathe around us is a homogeneous mixture. Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and many other gases are present in the atmosphere, which are mixed up and spread out evenly. Here are the other examples of homogeneous mixture. Seawater, coffee, milk, jelly, and chocolate. Now, let's see if you learned something. A black is a combination of two or more substances in which each pure substance retains its individual chemical properties. Your answer is... Mixture. Good. How about this? A black is a mixture that does not have uniform composition. Heterogeneous mixture. Great. A black is a mixture that has a uniform composition throughout. It is homogeneous mixture. Very good. Now, let's identify if the given mixtures are heterogeneous or homogeneous mixtures. Vegetable salad. Vegetable salad is a heterogeneous mixture. Good. Soft drinks. Soft drinks is a homogeneous mixture. Steel. 
You got it right, homogeneous mixture. Pizza. A pizza is a heterogeneous mixture. An alloy. That's right. An alloy is a homogeneous mixture. Air with clouds. Good. Heterogeneous mixture. Thank you for your participation. I hope that you learn a lot. This has been Jomarik El Mapindan of Mayapyap Elementary School. See you next time. Goodbye.